I think a lot today is based on you being a, a routing node and selling to people who need liquidity for uh, like their shops. Um, I think we can see that change where essentially we get to the point where people can just invest in other routing nodes in, in various degrees of uh, custody. Right, okay. So, so in that case, I could just say, hey, zero fee routing is doing really cool stuff. Um, I don't want to compete with him. I just want to help fund him. I'll give him, you know, a Bitcoin and he can go deploy that and put it to use. And I know he can earn a higher yield than I could because he's got a super well connected note and therefore then I'm going to earn a return on that. Is that the idea? Exactly. And this is a skill, right? People who are really skilled at deploying that capital. Um, so it's, it's like the stock market, right? Like, should I put it here, should I put it there? Or actually, I'm producing cars, should I spend more on this sort of production line or this, right? Um, and so, so you want somebody who really knows this because doing this yourself is most likely going to be less efficient than, than investing in somebody else, as well as the benefit of pooling your money with other people, essentially, right? So mm. there is somewhat of a benefit of being in large routing out. Um, so that will probably happen where you have a uh, smaller set of really large nodes serving um, a lot of um, different markets. And I think we're going to see this sort of different level of routing nodes targeting large sort of players and then some targeting smaller uh, shops and, and all that throughout this market. I think just the market today is so like it's um, simple in a way. I think we're going to see a much, much more complex market in four years and especially in like eight years. It's just going to be unrecognizable on today. Huh. That's a fascinating idea that you're, you can invest in the skill of routing node operators. Like it's, it's similar in a way to uh, being able to invest in a fund or if I see a great investor, I can say, hey, will you take my money and just put it to work for me? But there's so many restrictions on that today. Like, for example, I can't just go to Warren Buffett and be like, hey, here, Warren, take my money and put it to work. I, I, could, I could through Berkshire Hathaway, um, but before that came to market, if I had identified Warren as a smart guy before he built it, um, I can't do anything about that. There's, there's private funds today. There's hedge funds that I can't, I can't invest in directly. You either have to be like an accredited investor, you have to go through loopholes, you have to, you have to get the person to be willing to take your money, <laughs> and, and there's, there's restrictions around that, and it seems like this can be a much more seamless process for investing in someone's skill, I guess. Yeah, exactly. And if we can get to the point where there is less trust involved, like a lot of the um, regulation in the financial market today is based on the need for trust, right? Um, to protect investors and, and uh, consumers from investing in uh, bad actors. Um, so yeah, like we can do that today custodially um, and making it at least more efficient to, to do non-custodial is, is beneficial as well. But yeah, this is exactly like this will, I think it will become like investing in a, in a fund um, and you can you can see that if if you want to do that, if if investors, professional investors especially, is going to invest in routing nodes, you need a tool, and they expect you to have a tool that lets you essentially just show them what's going on, like print reports, like um, yeah, you can tell them actively what's going on, and it's much harder if you're sitting there with a command line or, and um, Microsoft Excel and, and building sort of these these things through yeah, ad hoc tools. Um, so this again is why we're building targets towards that future where there is a much more professional market to, 